on this video right here, we got the answer to the world's most asked question. The world's most... <laughs> this is why orcas are called killer whales. You know, like the whales at SeaWorld that they perform with, they're actually called killer whales. And I've always wondered why. Like, why are they called killer whales if they're over here in, in shows in SeaWorld doing flips and having a good time? Like, who are they really killing? Now, this is something I've always been wondering, and I seen this video pop up last night. I was about to watch it by myself, but I'm like, nah, let me watch it with the Deluxe family. We could all enjoy this educational Noah video together. Professor Noah in the building. Stop playing with me, man. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. This is why orcas are called killer whales. If you didn't watch Free Willy, watch Free Willy. Because guess what? When your girl comes over, I'm about to free my Willy. Stop playing with me. Let's get straight into it, man. When it comes to ruling the sea, Bigger isn't always better. Surprising. <laughs> That's not what she said. I told you I'm free and willy all 2021. No, Some of the largest ocean creatures aren't dangerous at all. What the fuck is that? The blue whale is the largest animal on the planet, weighing as much as 33 elephants, and all it eats is krill. It's like eating a one centimeter piece of pizza. And the whale shark, despite its menacing name and 40 foot length, only eats plankton and small fish. So, what does it really take to be at the top of the ocean's food chain? Specialized hunting skills, God a damn. appetite, and few, if any, natural predators. <laughs> you better slap the shit out of that stingray. Hold up. Food chain? Replay that one. Specialized hunting skills, Bow. a ferocious oh, appetite, and few, if any, natural predators. Oh, and sharp teeth don't hurt either. They over here trying to make it all intense and shit. When you think of the top ocean predators, you probably think of sharks. That's Damn wrong. Skippy. The true ruler of the sea is the killer whale. Stop Surprisingly, the they're not whales, they're dolphins. It's hard to believe that a cute animal like a dolphin is ruling the ocean, right? Anyway, we're going to explain this in the next minutes of the video. Killer whales are apex predators, which means they have no natural predators. They hunt in packs, much like wolves, which are also at the top of their food chain. Most often come across resident killer whales, which feed predominantly on salmon. But we occasionally spot transient orcas, <laughs> which eat crazy. everything from fish to seals to sharks and even other whales. Gluttonous thing. If you have these whales out here taking out other sharks, and then you got these performers performing with killer whales. Y'all bugging. How much y'all getting paid to do a performance with a killer whale? I've always imagined that. Like, what if you're performing, they drag you down to the bottom and keep you there for, like, 15 minutes? You're dead. You feel me? Like, I'm not risking my life for a paycheck. What are you talking about? Any doubt about the killer whale's apex status, consider this. Wildlife watchers off the coast of California witnessed an orca attacking a great white shark. Your body in that of course, shark. the orca won. No contest. Interactions between the two typically do not end well for the shark. In 1997, the first recorded interaction between a great white and orca was documented. That's crazy. Two orcas killed a great white shark and ate its liver. Removing the liver and leaving the rest of the body is quite consistent behavior for orcas. How do they just go straight for the liver and leave the rest of the body? That's some cruel shit right there. In 2017, five great whites washed ashore in South Africa with similar signs. The livers had been removed with incredible precision, and organs are believed the most likely culprit. That's crazy. Oh, it's absolutely terrifying. That's organs crazy. Organs are highly intelligent animals. Hello? And work in groups when they hunt. Their very presence, even when brief, can have a huge impact on the surrounding ecosystem. When the great white sharks flee and do not hunt in an area for up to a year, the numbers of their prey <laughs> do not great decline as they normally hell. Low, which affects other areas of the ecosystem in turn. It seems that orca whales can be considered the true apex predator of the ocean now. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Why are orcas called killer whales? I know. Are they swimming in the ocean with guns and killing everyone? No. Let's explain why. Dolphins and whales are closely related. 
Orcas were given the name killer whale by ancient sailors' observations of groups of orcas hunting and preying on larger whale species. They called orcas Assassina Bellenas, or whale killer, a term that was eventually flipped around to the easier killer whale. Their Latin name, Orsinus orca. Are y'all taking notes? Nah, y'all don't need to take notes. I'm gonna let y'all rock only for this class period, okay? Only for this class period. There's no cell phones, don't do that. Also reflects this observation of orcas feeding on large whales. Orsinus means of the kingdom of the dead. An orca refers to a kind of whale. We know that orcas are top predators, yes, but not the vicious whale killer that the ancient mariners Yo, thought. Where are their eyeballs? If you could give orcas another name, what would you call them? Let me know in the comments below. Killer whales look cute and have a friendlier image than great. <laughs> These niggas' eyes are small as hell. Do y'all see them? Look at the eyeball. It's so weird because like the white patch makes it seem like that's where their eye is located. <laughs> you done been fooled. That, that's crazy. White sharks. Perhaps because of their respected portrayals in movies. Jaws 2 even begins with the beached carcass of a half-eaten orca. Oh wow. We mentioned a lot about the great white sharks, so let's take a look at them too. They can smell a single drop of blood floating in 10 billion drops of oh, water. Oh nah. They can detect movement from as far away as 820 feet. And with powerful streamlined bodies and razor sharp teeth, great white sharks are as scary as it gets. That's crazy. But don't worry, they generally don't eat people. And most attacks on humans aren't fatal anyway. Generally is not enough for me. And most attacks not being fatal is still not enough for me. It needs to be 100%, sir. It needs to be 100%. It's no general shit bullshit when it comes to my life. It's not most likely won't be fatal. <laughs> what does that mean? He's taking an arm, taking a leg, just because it's not fatal. <laughs> Come on now. I swear people be on some, some weird shit, yo. Like, let me just risk my life to swim next to this beast. Nevertheless, I recommend you to be sure that you're not bleeding if you're going to get in the ocean. Great white sharks prefer to gobble up sea lions, seals, dolphins, small toothed whales, sea turtles, seabirds, and even the rotting flesh of dead animals. They can reach speeds of 43 miles, 69 kilometers per hour, which allows them to surprise their prey and subdue it with a single bite. 43 miles per hour. Great white sharks can even leave the water completely, breaching like whales when attacking prey from underneath. What? Let's take a look at another foot. animal that's higher up in the food chain. Polar bears. Polar bears are land mammals. Is it hard to open your eyes in the water, buddy? They spend much of their life at sea. They're incredibly strong swimmers, who have been spotted hundreds of miles from land. Polar bears mainly eat seals, but also munch on belugas, narwhal, bowhead whales, walrus, and sometimes fish. Look at that big bodies. They need to be filled up, so in summer, when the sea ice Man, melts, and they don't have easy access to marine prey, they may scavenge carcasses or search for bird eggs and berries. That's tough. Seals are their preferred meal, though, and polar bears will wait for days for a seal to surface at a breathing hole. When the seal finally pops up for air, <laughs> the polar bear swipes at it with its mighty paw and crushes it with a single bite from its powerful jaws. Polar bears are apex predators in the Arctic, but they do occasionally back down from a fight with a walrus. Another predator after the polar bears, leopard seals. Leopard seals are quite cute, until they open their mouths. <laughs> their jaws are wide and powerful, and are lined with long, razor-sharp teeth. I uh, look it. You guys came to class today to learn about killer whales, so you guys learned about the killer whales, man. Did you guys enjoy learning about them killing sharks. Comment down below. If you do watch this point of video though, make sure you do like and subscribe, man. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. This one I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.